Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So I'm starting today's episode at the night time and now usually, you guys may know this, but it's actually not something I like to do. I like my episodes to be bright and colourful. Well today we are collecting a bunch of slime, not normal slime, blighted slime, so that we can do the Slime God. Now the reason I'm starting at night is because I want this to kind of be seamless. So. We find some gel at the night, we fight it during the day, so, like, we don't have to wait or anything. Because I feel like I'm gonna get ill soon, like, I can always, because I've done YouTube for such a long time, and I think about my, uh, my voice a lot, right? So I, I try and make sure I don't burn it out, because it happens, it really happens, especially when you're doing loud stuff like I do. But, uh, I can feel myself, well, I can feel my chest getting a, a little bit, you know, sore. So, I thought, if it's all seamless and I don't have to take a break then uh, it will save my voice for the future, because then if I'm recording for 20 minutes and not 40 minutes, <coughs> it will be two days of uploads, if you know what I mean, and I won't have to take a break. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you enjoyed my review of uh, Spider-Man the other day. I saw a great comment, and it was, how much is Disney paying you? And I was thinking about it. Obviously, I'm not being paid by Disney straight up. But I was thinking about it. I was like, that would be like the coolest job. Being paid by Disney to talk about Spider-Man, like I've had some, I've had some fun stuff with uh, with YouTube, but that's got to be one of the funnest things you could possibly do. Anyway, just wanted to uh, to talk about that comment because uh, yeah, I just I just thought that'd be so cool. Imagine if that was your job. Like I've always wanted a job. If I never did YouTube, I've always wanted a job where like you like manage the Twitters and Facebook for like companies that you really like. Like say uh. For example, Assassin's Creed, right? So the guy who uh, who tweets for Assassin's Creed, his name is I believe it's Esco, Esco Blades. Anyway, long story short, he was actually a YouTuber I used to watch a few years ago, and he was a pretty small YouTuber. Like he had about ten thousand subscribers, which is small today, but he actually got this job, uh, like being the official Twitter and Facebook person for Assassin's Creed, and he was an Assassin's Creed YouTuber. So that's what it reminded me of. Right, how much gel have we got so far? We have 31 gel, which is five more than we need. So I just need to grab some blocks and then we're good to go. I need to grab 25 blocks. So it's 25 blocks, 25 blighted gel. And then after this, so I'm going to do this fight. Then I'm probably going to do a jump cup. So I just remembered I need to update my calamity mod because there are a few things that are meant to be crafting recipes that aren't because I always forget to update. I'm always very nervous to update as well, because I'm like, please don't break my mod. Does anybody else like that? Does anybody else get, like, really worried about updating mods? I probably shouldn't. I mean, I trust Calamity. Calamity is the bomb, isn't it? Come on, I've never had a Calamity mod that's gone wrong. A Calamity update that's gone wrong, so it's all good. You guys yesterday, by the way, were telling me not to use the fungal clump with the dank staff, because apparently, uh... It decreases the amount of damage that it does because the dank staff latches on too much or something like that. Like it, it resets the ticks. I, I don't know, but I, I trust you guys. I trust you guys. But hey, so now we all know what I'm gonna do if uh, if YouTube, you know, ever if it shuts down, I'm gonna be the official person for Terraria. No, I'm kidding. There are people's jobs for that already. I'd be putting somebody else out of a job. But how cool! I'd love that. Right, so. We have everything we need. <clears throat> so we just need the overloaded sludge. Right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to face this here. Because it's not a a particularly hard fight, is it? Or it never was. They may have changed it a bunch. I think I remember Python saying when he played it. Oh, gee, I can't remember if Python played it in expert mode or not. Anyway, he said it wasn't too bad. And I've done it once before. So, buff up and begin. So I don't know if they changed it. They probably have changed it because this is revenge. Oh my god. All right, okay. They 100% changed it because I never remember it taking that much damage from me. Oh my god. Even that little minion thing? What is that about? And it's it's keeping me in the air. All right, that's kind of mad. Come on now. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that. I feel like that's a bit crazy. Look at me. Overconfident is the word. <coughs> right, I'm going to update now and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. So it's a freshly updated Kalami. Can you guys tell? Is everything different? 
Am I still here? Is, is my character changed? Who knows? Who knows? Because I didn't read the patch notes. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're off back there to go and get some more blighted gel. And uh, I'm going to build an arena this time. And like I say, I don't want to do uh, too many jump cuts. I want to kind of keep this smooth and transition free. And uh, like I say, it's because I want to preserve my throat. Because I've been doing this thing recently where I make sure that I do something for Chippy Gaming a day. And I make sure I do, well, quite recently, I make sure I do something for Chippy's couch a day. Because it, it makes me feel good to, to have that consistency. Because you all support me. And uh, I want to give back to you for that continuous support. So preserving my throat is one of the ways I can do this. Okay. But this is a proper first world uh, YouTube problem. I, it, it's a YouTube thing. You know, sore throat, doing let's plays. They don't go hand in hand. <laughs> but I hope you're all doing well. So this is one thing that I've got to deal with, right? And I, was, I wasn't sure on how to do it. So I've got a holiday coming up in three weeks. And I'm away for a week. Now with Chippy Gaming, I can make videos that are completely unrelated to news or a series. You know, just kind of, you know, a few top fives, a few little mod spotlights. Like my usual stuff, the fun stuff. But, uh, so I can make those in advance, but for Chippy's Couch, because episodes are daily, because they rely on what you guys say, I don't know whether to record a bunch of episodes, so I'll record seven, but for seven episodes, I won't have any feedback from you guys, so if I do anything wrong, the mistake lasts for seven episodes, so I'm not too sure what to do about that one. You guys can maybe let me know. Maybe I could fill in for a week and put the series on hold and do something else with Chippy's Couch, or, I don't know, uh, you, you guys are going to have to let me know about that one. Um, right, we've got enough ore to go again. So, alright, let's 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 take a little look here. Let's, hmm, okay, let's chop down some trees. One, and then we'll chop down this whole area. So I was going to start counting trees then, but maybe it's not for the best. Now, I'm not particularly sure what to do here, because that... Because it has that little potion effect, you know, where it's, it keeps you in the air. Kind of like the uh, the things in the in the solar towers, or whatever they're called. The, the towers. The tower event, not the solar towers, though. So I don't know what to do, because a grab potion's not going to save me, and better wings are not going to save me. I'm going to try this one more time, and if I don't do it, I'm going to put this one on hold. Because I have this strong feeling that in Revengeance mode... This is a fight for when you are fully kitted out. Like, you have all your accessories perfectly made and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, we'll we'll leave it for a second. Oh, do you want to have just remembered? One second. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. If I remember correctly, this is now a material. The rotten brain. Yes, it is. Right, this is what was... It oh my god, I'm zoomed in. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, oh, damn. My uh, my crafting thing is not working today. Ah, oh, god damn. Is my other one working? So boss checklist works. Okay. I know what to do. We'll go up to the guide. We'll do this old school. You're right, low gang. <laughs> let's put this in here. Alright. I'm a... Yeah. Oh, so you need the Brain of Confusion. Huh. May confuse enemies nearby after being struck. That's really cool. 10% increased brain damage. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> increased brain damage. No, that's not right. That's not right. Maybe... Maybe we swap out... Maybe we get rid of the reduced damage. Yeah, well, let's do some reforging here. Here's what I'm thinking. We get a worm scarf for defense, right? So our defense is already raised. And then we swap out. Actually, we come up here and we reforge the fungal clump. It's expensive, though. Right, we got that to warding real fast. We need to get this to warding. Oh, that's two gold. Spiked. Oh, I'm doing this slow just so I don't miss it. Wild. Guarding. You know what? No, I don't even want it at guarding. Oh my god, you're going to eat up all my money, aren't you? Angry? No. Uh, 
God, this is what I hate about reforging. You can just see your money just slowly go down. But it's addictive because you want to get the right one. Rash? No. Wild? Intrepid? Menacing. I'll take menacing and I'm going to stop right there. So that's good enough. But we could replace that with that. So what's our jump height at the minute? Alright, that's actually pretty slow, isn't it? Have we got any grav potions? Let's see. Grav potions. Potions, potions, potions. Okay, we have no grav potions. I was going to say, because maybe we could we could do something with grav potions. Maybe not. Well, let's see. So if this was my jumping speed, I could be like, do, do, do. It would mean that, yeah, so jumping is slightly reduced. So what does this one do again? 15% increased damage when below 75% life. 5% decreased movement speed when below 50 life. Shade, actually, you know what? I will go back to this. Or do I go for the Cobalt Shield? Oh my god, I have so many choices today. Um, oh no, I can't remember what happened during the first fight, whether I just got stuck or not. We'll go with this. And then I'll also grab myself. Well, actually, that's pretty much all I need to grab. Maybe I will use the Dank Staff here. Because I trust you guys. But, that being said, there's multiple things it could leech onto. So we'll go with that. That's my new strat. And I need to craft up the thing. Right, let's do that. So, overloaded sludge. We'll take this thing. And then there's another one over here. So we'll take this one too. And we're going to use our nice platformed area. And we'll see what happens. Look, if I, if I mess this one up, like I say, I'll put it on pause. Because I don't know... If I can fix what our problems are today, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, this should do. I mean, should I add a second layer? I probably should. Okay. So we'll do a second layer here. Right. Just so I can turn things around if I need to. And then I've got a place to chill as well. So we use up all our boreal wood. And stretch this one out over here. Now the good thing is, if I do mess this up again, we can always just go in there and quickly do Queen B, which is cool with me. And the good thing is as well, is you guys can just help me out for the next time we do it. Because this may be something that I won't be able to do, admittedly. Like, there are ones that I will fail on. And if this one isn't essential, then we can skip it until later. And steal its loot when we are more powerful. Aha, the chippy gaming way. Or oh, the chippy scout way. <laughs> the chippy way. Right. Uh, okay. Buffs on. Lego. Okay. It's very... Oh, okay. I'm going to pay real close... Oh, see, that's the problem. Oh, no, okay. A lot of this just do too much damage. See that? Ah, oh, God. When it gets you... I'll explain my problem. When you're flying in the air like this, there really isn't much you can do. Right? Because this, this debuff lasts way too long. That's the problem. So you don't have time to compose yourself so that you can avoid the, uh, the project... Mm. So, like, to elaborate. When you're flying in the air, you don't have time to compose yourself enough to even avoid... The, the homing one. Do you know the little homing blob? So that homing blob just smashes the hell out of the character. I'm going to leave that one. I don't feel like that is a... Uh... Are these going to hurt me if I fall on them? Yeah. Okay. I don't necessarily think that that is a boss we can do. If I'm honest, today. Or at least until it maybe gets tweaked a little bit. Am I wrong in that? Am I wrong? Please say no. Okay. Beehive over there. Right. I'm going to make some potions and I'll meet you guys at the beehive. All right, so we're at the beehive. Now, sorry if I seemed a little bit salty for losing the uh, the last fight. I uh, <laughs> I forget just how hard Revengeance mode is meant to be. And uh, I turn into a blustering idiot, I swear. I'm going to grab that moon glow because moon glow is always good. Because we are using a lot of it recently for potions. And then, you know what? I'm going to have to set up my auto-fishing mod soon as well. Because I want to use some more advanced potions, but I don't want to spend the time fishing because I find it to be a little bit annoying 
Right, now for a second I'm going to take this off because I want to make sure that I don't trigger the boss. I could do with this coming up too. Can you come up here please? Thank you. Awesome. Oh god. Oh god, another bone sword. Right, that's doing 50 damage. I've got confusion on by the way, that's why I'm jumping around like an idiot. Um, okay. Good. Right. Will honey get rid of my status effect? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Okay. Uh. Okay. So where is the summoning item for this uh, beehive? Is it in here? You know what? I think it might be. I don't want to trigger it. Oh god, I triggered it. That made me jump because that was so loud. Ow. Uh, I have to reset my jump. That's why I'm like floating down here. Okay. Um. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to go. The only good thing is I actually have a pretty decent weapon and the fungal clump is awesome. And, oh god. Okay. Uh, this is revenge mode, uh, Queen Bee though, oh my god. Not good James, not good. <laughs> you could have at least triggered this a little bit better. That made me jump so bad, I was like, okay, fire it in a place where you definitely know it won't be. And I was like, it definitely won't be on the floor there. Moron James, moron. That's what I am. Oh my god, dude, I just realised you can actually hold this down, I didn't know that. Have I got confusion on? Ow, I wait, let me out! <laughs> Okay. Okay. Alright, fungal clump, do your thing, please. I wonder what the revengeance mode attack is going to be like. There's always, like, some subtle difference. I don't know if I'll be able to tell with this one. I couldn't... Wait, no, I... The Eater of Wills was the Cursed Flames, wasn't it? But I couldn't tell with one. There was one boss where I was like, I don't know what they've changed here. It might have been King Slime, actually. Then again, I I honestly can't remember. That was like a long time ago, I feel like. It was only a few days ago, but still. Right. Um, fungal clump, please start healing me. Stop killing the bees. Just start healing me, please. Uh, oh, God. All right, I know this is a right sham. Hopefully you guys know what sham means, because I don't know if that's a real English word or not. I can't remember. Okay, uh, zero seconds left on the heal. I'll take that, and I'll take my free health from the fungal clump. Okay. Uh, oh my god. This fight, though. Right, he's doing a lot of damage to me now. So, fungal clump, please do your thing. Come on, I rely on the fungal clump. Fungal clump, do your thing! No, come on, I'm so close to death. I'm so close. Fungal clump. <laughs> It's the day of failure! It's the day of failure. I failed twice. Right, well, you know what? That's going to do it for today's episode. Tomorrow we'll be back even stronger. Even stronger. Right, I hope you're all having a great day. I hope you've enjoyed your Friday. Enjoy the weekend if you've got school. I'll see you all tomorrow, though. Uh, I, I apologize. I don't like episodes with a lot of failure. Um, but you know what? You know what? It happens. It happens to me. Because I'm a moron and I don't prepare enough. And that one was just pretty funny. Have a great day though. Thank you all for being awesome. Especially awesome after I returned. I really appreciate all the support. It's been a few days now. But once again, I just want to say, just like from the bottom of my heart, Chippy's Couch has the best community. Like anywhere, honestly. The, the lovely people in the comment section, every time I look at that, you know, that area of the video, it just makes me smile. It makes me smile a lot. But thank you all very much, and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, peace guys. Peace!